Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most exciting and ambitious topics in the history of humanity, when and how we will live on Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest in the solar system. It has fascinated humans for centuries and it is often called the Red Planet because of its reddish appearance. But what if we could turn this barren and hostile world into our new home? What if we could become a multi-planetary species and explore the mysteries of the solar system? In this video, we will discuss the science, technology, and challenges of colonizing Mars, as well as the possible consequences and benefits of living on another planet. So buckle up and get ready for an amazing journey to the future of humanity. Let's get started. Human colonization of Mars is a complex and fascinating topic that involves many scientific, technological, social, and ethical aspects. It could also have a profound impact on the future of humanity and life in the solar system. The reason why there are still no human colonies on the Moon and Mars is due to the uncertainty of when investments will be returned and profits will be made. However, with the lowering of space travel costs and technological advancements, more countries, billionaires, tech giants, startups, and institutions are joining the space race to reach the finish line on the red planet. They do this out of fear of future disasters, to become explorers, or to mine rare metals in the asteroid belt. The question of when and how humans will live on Mars is a complex one that involves many factors and challenges that must be overcome. NASA and other space agencies are already working on missions to explore Mars, and there are also private companies, such as SpaceX, that are developing technology to make human colonization of Mars a reality. According to Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, he envisions a million humans living on Mars by the 2060s. SpaceX's plan for building a Mars settlement includes refueling in orbit, a fleet of passenger ships, and the biggest rocket ever made. Musk has also proposed a terraforming project that could make Mars more hospitable for human habitation. NASA's Perseverance rover, launched in 2020, is currently on a mission to search for signs of past microbial life on Mars. The geological details that the rover is studying are critical for placing any indication of possible life in context and checking scientists' ideas about how a second example of life's origin could come about. One of the main challenges of living on Mars is the planet's harsh environment, which includes low atmospheric pressure, extreme temperatures, and high levels of radiation. To address these challenges, scientists are exploring various approaches, such as building habitats that can protect humans from the harsh environment, creating artificial ecosystems to provide food and other resources, and developing technologies to terraform the planet and make it more hospitable for humans. Another challenge is the cost of sending humans to Mars and establishing a sustainable colony there. This will require significant investments in technology, infrastructure, and logistics, as well as the development of new spacecraft and propulsion systems that can transport humans and supplies to and from Mars. As for the question of how we will live on Mars, the journey to the Red Planet will take a mere 260 days when Earth and Mars are closest to each other. Landing on Mars is just a first leg of the journey, and once we arrive, we will need to set up a habitat, grow our own food, and establish a self-sustaining colony. NASA and private companies like SpaceX are actively working on developing the technology and infrastructure needed to make this possible. However, there are still many challenges to overcome before humans can live on Mars permanently. One of the possible consequences of colonizing Mars is that humans could evolve differently on the red planet than on Earth. Some scientists suggest that the harsh and exotic environment on Mars could accelerate human evolution, leading to new traits and adaptations in the Martian colonists. For example, humans on Mars could develop stronger bones, larger eyes, darker skin, and altered immune systems. Systems. However, this would depend on the level of isolation and gene flow between Earth and Mars, as well as the extent of genetic engineering and artificial selection. Overall, the timeline for when humans will live on Mars is difficult to predict, as it will depend on the pace of technological advancements, political and financial support, and the success of initial missions to the planet. However, there is significant interest and investment in Mars exploration and settlement, so it is likely that progress will continue to be made in this area in the coming years and decades. In summary, human colonization of Mars is a complex topic that involves many aspects. There are many reasons why people want to go to Mars. There are many challenges that need to be overcome before humans can live on Mars. There are many potential benefits and risks of living on Mars. The timeline for when humans will live on Mars is uncertain but hopeful. But now let's see some examples of amazing machines that help us learn more about Mars. The Astrolab Flex Rover is a highly advanced robotic vehicle designed for use in harsh environments, such as deserts, polar regions, and extraterrestrial surfaces like the Moon or Mars. It is built by Astrolab Robotics, a French company specializing in space robotics, and developed in collaboration with the European Space Agency and Thales Alenia Space. 
The rover is equipped with six wheels, each with independent suspension, enabling it to navigate through obstacles and rough terrain. It can climb inclines up to 45 degrees and traverse slopes up to 30 degrees. The rover's chassis is made of aluminum and steel, providing durability and protection for its sensitive equipment and electronics from impacts and vibrations. Additionally, the rover has a weatherproof enclosure that protects it from dust, moisture, and temperature fluctuations. The Astrolab Flex rover is powered by rechargeable lithium-ion batteries that can last up to 24 hours on a single charge. The rover also has solar panels that can recharge its batteries during daylight hours. Its suite of scientific instruments includes cameras, spectrometers, a laser rangefinder, a microscope, and more, allowing it to collect data and samples from its surroundings. The rover's advanced algorithms enable it to navigate autonomously, make decisions, and adjust its path based on surrounding terrain and obstacles. The Astrolab Flex rover has a high-bandwidth communication system that allows it to send data and images back to a base station or satellite in real-time. It also has a low-power radio for communicating with other rovers or sensors in the field. The rover has a range of up to 3 kilometers and can travel at a maximum speed of 1 kilometer per hour. The Astrolab Flex rover has a highly modular and customizable design, making it adaptable for a wide range of missions and environments. It can be equipped with various payloads, such as cameras, drills, and sensors, to suit different scientific goals. Its flexible chassis can conform to uneven terrain, allowing it to traverse rocky or hilly landscapes. The Astrolab Flex rover is expected to be used in future lunar missions. NASA and the European Space Agency ESA, are collaborating on the Mars Sample Return MSR, mission, one of the most ambitious and complex campaigns in space exploration history. The MSR mission involves a series of robotic missions to Mars, starting with the Mars 2020 rover, called Perseverance, which landed on the Red Planet in February 2021. The rover collects rock and soil samples, which will be placed in small metal tubes and left on the Martian surface for pickup by a future mission. The next phase of the MSR mission will involve the ESA-built sample return lander and a NASA-built fetch rover, which will retrieve the samples and bring them back to the lander for launch back to Earth. A NASA-built orbiter will then rendezvous with the sample container in Martian orbit and bring it back to Earth. The diverse set of scientifically curated samples will provide invaluable insights into the history and potential for life on Mars. These samples will be studied in state-of-the-art laboratories by scientists around the world, and the mission is expected to cost billions of dollars and take many years to complete. The MSR mission is a synchronized effort between NASA, ESA, Goddard Space Flight Center, and Marshall Space Flight Center. The Perseverance rover is equipped with a sample caching system that will collect and store rock cores in sealed tubes. This short animation highlights the key moments of the MSR campaign, from landing on Mars and securing the sample tubes to launching them off the surface and ferrying them back to Earth. Overall, the Mars Sample Return mission represents an unprecedented opportunity to study samples from another planet and will help to advance our understanding of the solar system and our place within it. The mission is critical in advancing our knowledge of the Red Planet and its potential to support life. Sherpa is a versatile robot system designed and manufactured by Sherpa Mobile Robotics, a French company specializing in mobile robotics for industrial and military applications. The company has been in operation since 2014, and its robots are used in factories, warehouses, hospitals, offices, and outdoor areas. The Sherpa robot system is built using high-quality materials and advanced technology to ensure its durability and reliability. It is equipped with sensors, cameras, and other technologies that enable it to navigate its environment, avoid obstacles, and perform tasks autonomously. The robot system is also designed to be easy to use, with a simple user interface. The Sherpa robot system is also capable of operating in rough terrain and harsh environments. It can carry heavy loads and navigate through uneven terrain, using a combination of advanced sensors, algorithms, and artificial intelligence. The robot system features a six-wheeled drive system with independent suspension, which allows it to climb over obstacles and navigate uneven terrain. It is also equipped with a variety of sensors, including lighter, cameras, and GPS, which provide real-time data on the robot's surroundings. The Sherpa robot system is versatile and adaptable, with a modular design that allows it to be customized for a wide range of applications. 
It is capable of autonomous exploration activities, making it ideal for applications such as lunar or planetary surface exploration in the TransTerra project. Sherpa's internal power supply, lighter sensor, camera, and manipulator arm allow for autonomous exploration activities. Sherpa Mobile Robotics also offers a range of services, including training, maintenance, and technical support, to ensure that customers can get the most out of their robot systems. Thank you.